I get a lot of questions from so many of you about uh, what I use in my aquariums, various chemicals, additives, etc. So I thought what I would do is make a video and go through every single item that I put into my tank that isn't food. Um, and I think I pretty much got everything here. So what I'll do is I'm going to kind of give you a high level overview of what I use in the aquariums and at what time and why. And uh, I'm not going to get into like super detail on any of these specific items. If you do have any questions about them, you can ask and comment down below in the uh, comment section. Hey fish friends, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. My name is Zenzo from Tozawa Tanks. Now, one of the things that uh, might be a little bit of a sensitive subject, I'm trying to think about how to uh, approach it and talk about it, is the fact that I am sponsored by some of these uh, companies. So, um, when I am talking about a product, please know that um, I may be sponsored by them. Um, but I would also ask for you to, before you, you know, click on to the next video, please understand that I care very much about my fish. I love my fish. If you've been following my channel for quite a while, you know how invested I am in my aquariums. And you know that I do have some very special fish to me, some rare fish, difficult to find fish, and fish that are uh, very uh, special to me. So I would not be using products that I didn't believe in, that I didn't 100% trust. So with that being said, I'm gonna jump right in and talk about the products that I use. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is medication because I get so many questions about medication. People are, people are always sending me videos on um, uh, Instagram, like a DM. They'll send me a video, pictures. Um, I used to, I get emails sometimes on my Tozawa Tanks email uh, email address. I used to get a ton of messages on Facebook through my Tozawa Tanks Facebook page, but I actually turned that off just because it became so much of an avalanche of questions and it that's a very difficult um, place to respond to everybody where it's a lot easier on Instagram so I thought I would talk about medications and uh, just real real quickly a lot of you may be familiar with what is called the med trio this is something that's been um, basically created by aquarium co-op so they did they did uh, you know countless you know thousands of testing tests on um, different combinations of uh, medications to use and uh, they came up with a med trio and i have been using that med trio for probably about three years now and i've had very great success with it haven't had any outbreaks um, so a lot of you are familiar with ick ick is a parasite that's an external parasite it goes through a cycle process and um, ick x is the product that i use um, this is made by uh, Aquarium Solutions, and it is a very good uh, ick medication. Um, I will warn you, though, that uh, it will stain, so uh, make sure that you don't have on, like, white clothing, that you don't do this over, like, a carpet or something. Make sure that you have an area where um, you can, you know, protect your 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 items so that they don't get stained you might get a little bit of staining on your hands it could it can even stain like the concrete floor um because it has like a it's a, it's a a very bright blue tint to it so it will do some staining there um and then what i do is i combine that so let's say that i go to the fish store and i buy some new fish um and you know that i do that um, from time to time um, what i want to do is i want to make sure that i'm treating my fish for ick I want to treat them for any kind of bacterial infection that they may have and that's very common you know if they've been beat up and nipped at the fish store they were in a bag and jostled around and have a little bit of an injury and there might be a, some infection there um, i want to address that and i also want to address what is hidden which could be some internal parasites so the med trio addresses all of those um, the ick x covers uh, ick which we should be all familiar with and then um, as far as uh, bacterial infections, I use Maricin. Mar Maricin is from Fritz Aquatics, and I am sponsored by Fritz. But uh, Maricin is uh, very similar to erythromycin, so if you are, are familiar with erythromycin from API, it uh, basically is essentially the same thing. Um, the difference is, is that you get a lot more bang for your buck. So this is 24 packets, so this would do 240 gallons. And um, the uh, API one, I think, is comes in packets of 10 or something like that. So, or 12, 10 or 12, I forgot. So, uh, you basically get double, um, the double the product for the same amount of money. And uh, this will treat the bacterial infections that you may have. And then I will also use uh, Paracleanse. Um, you might be familiar with the general cure from API. Um, so, this is uh, looking at internal parasites, um, other kind of common parasites that... 
your fish may have when they are coming over from the wholesaler and the breeder to the fish store. Um, they might have some um, parasitic diseases inside of them. So this will take care of that. So that's pretty much all I use. Uh, Maricin, uh, Paracleanse, and Ix-X. Um, and I have a bunch. I've stocked up on it just because, just in case something happens, I bought a few bottles of this stuff. Um, I just want to make sure that I have it because it works that well. Um, I did get this other uh, container of Maricin. This is the same thing. It's just uh, a larger, this treats a thousand gallons, so there's a lot more in here. I haven't opened this yet. I'm just using the packets right now. Um, there are a couple other medications that I do have on hand. Um, I haven't had to use them, but I do have them just in case. I would hate for there to be a problem and uh, not be able to get to the fish store or the fish store not having anything available. Um, so I do have a couple of other medications um, that I have not used uh, to date yet. Uh, Maricin 2, which uh, will help with like Popeye and fin and tail rot, things like that. And then Expel P, which is actually uh, Levamisole, it's a deworming um, agent. And uh, that is also um, a medication that would be helpful for some internal parasites especially if they're pretty bad ones. So that's it on the medications. Um, the next thing I wanna talk about is uh, dechlorinating the water. So here in San Francisco, California, we have very challenging water. We have a ton of chloramine in our water. So chloramine um, is a mixture of, uh, or it's, it's basically ammonia and chlorine bonded together. And the reason that the cities use it uh, the municipalities use it is that it is a very stable way of treating the water supply for humans. So as humans, we turn on the tap, you might drink right out of the tap or you cook with it, wash your hands, touch your face, whatever. You want to make sure that you don't have any bacteria in that water. You don't want to have any parasites or anything that could cause us to become ill. And uh, so they treat the water to kill anything that could potentially be in there. We used to use chlorine. A lot of you are familiar with chlorine, that swimming pool smell, chlorine, bleach smell. Um, but in some areas still use it, but it is not as stable. It's not as strong and as powerful as chloramine. Um, but chloramine will kill our fish. It'll kill our fish. It'll kill the beneficial bacteria in our aquarium. So we need, we need to make sure that we treat it. Whether you have chlorine or chloramine, um, you'll want to use a dechlorinator. Now there are a couple of, um, types that I use and, uh, I used to use, um, safe and prime from Seachem. And uh, about a year ago, I switched to uh, using the Fritz Complete and the Fritz products. Um, Fritz Complete, I would say that you can compare it to uh, Seachem Prime as an example. It has that same kind of sulfur smell. Um, the reason why I like this so much, because it comes with this top. And this comes from Aquarium Co-op. They sell it just like this with these little plastic uh, pump, um, pump heads. And all you do is you attach the pump head to the bottle. And as you're doing a water change, you just have to go and squirt, squirt, squirt. Every squirt puts out um, enough to treat 10 gallons. So you'll do one milliliter, two milliliters, three milliliters. You know that that took care of 30 gallons worth of water. So it's very, very easy to go. And when you have so many aquariums like we do here, it's very easy to go around and just take care of them um, very quickly as you're doing water changes. So this is what I use for um, a lot of my tanks, but I really like this product. This is probably my favorite dechlorinator that I've ever used. Um, and so much so that like this is a, this one has stuff in it. This is completely empty. So I went through this pretty quickly, but I still have the container. It's a cool container. Um, and this is the ACCR um, from Fritz Aquatics. It's a dry ammonia, uh, chlorine and chloramine rem remover. It is a powder, so it comes in a powder form. So you'll want to get like a measuring spoon and um, it doesn't have a smell. So if you are sensitive to that smell that you get from some of the other ones, that sulfur smell, um, but you like using a powder, uh, this would be the one I would recommend. It doesn't smell at all and it's so easy to use, dissolves very quickly into the water and I've had zero issues with my fish um, and chloramine. And for those of you that have been around for a while, you know that I've had some oopsies in the past with chloramine. So this is a great product. In fact, I need to uh, contact Fritz and get more of this because I need more. Um, so that's it for um, dechlorinators. 
Uh, I do want to talk real quickly about fertilizers. Um, a lot of you are very familiar with this product. This is the Easy Green from Aquarium Co-op. It's basically an all-in-one fertilizer. I have a couple of other fertilizers that I've used. I've used the Easy Iron, Easy Carbon. Um, I still have some Easy Iron, but I pretty much just use this. And now that I'm getting more and more into plants, I've noticed that some plants do require some extra nutrients and they don't just have enough nutrients from the fish waste themselves. So I um, use this stuff. It's very easy. Same system as the... Um, it's the same pump head, actually. It's the same system uh, as the uh, dechlorinator. You just can go around and one, two, three, that's 30 gallons. So every, it's, it's a measured amount. Very easy to use, very inexpensive, readily available. So I just bought a big liter of this so I can refill these bottles. And then some of the plants that I have uh, need to be root fed. So I use the root tabs. So it's a, uh, it's a, um, a tablet that uh, has like that gel coating, like a pill that you would swallow and but don't swallow these but anyway it's a uh, root fertilizer that you can put uh, underneath the substrate where a plant is uh, where the root structure is so that it can get nutrients from the roots so recently i did this um, in my planted aquarium upstairs and i talked about that in a recent video but i also put it down here in my mangrove um, tank because i wanted the mangroves to have some extra nutrients so Hopefully that works out for the mangroves. I've never tried it before with mangroves, but uh, this is the uh, root fertilizer that I use. Uh, now let's talk about some of the additives that I use that are um, just different things that, uh, you know, not the dechlorinator or medication or anything like that. Um, one of them, this one is uh, one that I use quite often. It's a nitrifying bacteria, live bacteria. This is called Fritzheim 7. And uh, basically what this does is it's uh, giving your aquarium kind of a beneficial bacteria boost. Um, it's like a little booster for the beneficial bacteria. So during large water changes, um, if I've done a medication to a tank and I've done a water change and I'm putting fresh water in there, I'll use this as a boost. I also use it when I'm setting up a new aquarium. Um, even though I like to have established filters ready to go, sponge filters and other tanks in my sump, if you saw a recent video, you know that I have other filter material in my sump ready to go. I will also um, add this in there as well because it will give the tank a kind of a jump start and get that beneficial bacteria up and running so that you can have um, the proper nitrogen cycle happening in your aquarium. This is an enzyme that I use. It's the Monster 360. Um, I pretty much only use this in my Oscar tank. I was using this in my African cichlid aquariums as well, um, but felt that I didn't need it because I was so up on top of my maintenance doing water changes every four days or so. But my Oscar tank is kind of messy. They're messy eaters and messy poopers, and I've got catfish in there. So I use this, um, this uh, enzyme, biological conditioner, in there. It kind of helps to lessen the amount of sludge and detritus. It just makes it a little bit easier to uh, keep clear looking. Um, and then we're talking about clear looking. I use the uh, Fritz glass acrylic cleaner. So um, the reason why I use this instead of like um, glass cleaner is because there's no ammonia. We don't want ammonia in our aquariums. If we have aquariums with open tops like my uh, Congo tank here, like my uh, mangrove tank there. Um, you don't want to spray something that has ammonia because that could get into the aquarium and you could have some real problems. Uh, this is an ammonia free, so it's basically safe for the fish. So you can liberally go around and spray your, your glass or acrylic and then wipe it off with a microfiber towel and you will have a clean surface. The other thing that I really like about this is be, I can clean the inside of my aquariums. So as you know, I have some paludariums, so that means I have uh, tanks with water and uh, land, like for my mud skippers, and also for my um, uh, fiddler crab and my molly, uh, sailfin molly tank. So I can clean the inside of this, so I can take this, squirt it on a microfiber cloth, and then wipe the inside and not worry about anything harmful being in the tank because it's ammonia free and it's fish safe. So this is a very good glass cleaner to have if you do have any worries about uh, harming your fish. And then lastly, salt. Uh, so mostly freshwater here in my fish room. A lot of you that watch my channel are probably mostly in the freshwater, but I do have brackish aquariums. Brackish is a mixture of salt water and freshwater, meaning that uh, they have to have some salinity and I have to have salt in those aquariums. And I can't just use like table salt. I have to use an aquarium salt because there are certain minerals and nutrients in the salt that you add that is beneficial to those fish. So, um, and I have several 
Brackish Aquariums. I've got my 75 gallon Mud Skipper tank. I've got my uh, Saltwater Blenny Aquarium. I've got my Molly and uh, Fiddler Crab tank. I've got the Indian Mud Skippers. I've got the Mangrove tank, Mangrove with the Puffer and Gobies. So I have several tanks with uh, that need salt. And I also have a saltwater tank that's currently cycling. Not there yet. We're getting closer. I did get some live rock for it. Um, I wish I had some turbo starts from Fritz. So uh, I need to email Fritz and have them send me some turbo start, which is the saltwater kind of version of that kind of a thing. But uh, anyway, so I need salt and I have been using this Fritz uh, RPM salt. This is a uh, the Reef Pro Mix. This is kind of their high quality um, I don't know, baller salt. It's a really good salt. It has a lot of different um, uh, additives in there um, that uh, benefit the fish as far as uh, um, elements in there to aid in their health. Um, it does dissolve very quickly, which I like. Uh, I did get some flack in a video a while ago because in my brackish tanks, I don't always pre-mix the water. I do in a saltwater tank. I do pre-mix it in a uh, separate container and run a power head in there. But uh, I found that I haven't really had to because it dissolves so quickly um, when it comes to uh, my brackish aquarium. So the only thing with these is you just want to make sure that you keep it sealed. It does come with a uh, like a Ziploc uh, closure. Um, this is a very heavy duty plastic bag. I'm um, kind of similar to like the plastic bag that uh, maybe like dog food would come in or um, like protein powder. It's a very heavy duty thick gauge plastic and it comes with a resealable top. So as long as you keep it resealed, it will be fine. If you do leave it unsealed, you can get some clumping, which does happen. But even with it clumping, I have found that uh, it does unclump very easily, um, unlike some of the other salts that basically turn into concrete when that happens. So that's what I use. Um, the only thing that I'm not showing right now, besides food obviously, is I'm not showing um, what I use for like buffers and cichlid salts. Uh, Fritz has not sent me any yet. Um, I have made a video about how I've made my own. So I do have my own cichlid buffer salt recipe. Um, and actually part of it is the RPM salt. So I will mix this in with some baking soda and some other stuff to make my own. But it would be a lot easier if I could just, you know, open up a container and use the cichlid salt that they have and the cichlid buffers that they have. So in the future, I'll probably do that instead of making my own because it is a little bit messy and, um, me making my own blend is not as good as uh, what a you know big company is making for that specific uh, purpose. So anyway, that is all I have. Uh, I think I covered everything. Um, so for those of you that had questions uh, about what I use, uh, that's what I use and that's why I use it. That's when I use it. Hopefully I was able to answer all of that. Uh, if you do have any questions, please feel free to ask those down below in the comment section. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.